Hey, Paulie, what's happening, man? Trust the system, and it works. Trust. Isn't that a? Uh, isn't that? Isn't that like a like a slogan for a team or something? Trust the process. It's like it's like the slogan for the government, maybe. Oh, trust yeah. trust us, <laughs> trust us. You can trust us. How you been, What's man? What's up, man? Doing good. Doing Another great. Week. Doing Another great. Week. Looking great. I got that stuff off my face. If anybody follows me on Instagram, I know I sent it to you personally. It looked like Dia de los Muertos kind of thing going on. It was pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. I could it never was. do that for a good face, cause. But... For a good cause. Go. Burnt eyes and everything. So yeah, that's, that's going. Tough, that's what so, that's what I had going. But what do you got going? Well, I've got a special guest. We've got a you special do? guest today. Where? I do. Huh? We do. What? We do. We're gonna bring him up in just a second. Uh, you guys right. may know him if you follow him on Instagram. Uh, guy's name, David Jones, Locker Mint. Very catchy Ooh. name. Very cool. Let's go ahead and bring him up. Hey, guys. What's up, man? What's, What's up, guys? Good to Getting see you, Dave. Spring training. Getting ready for yeah. spring training. Honored to be here, guys. I appreciate you bringing me on. So, right David, on. you and I met, uh, had to be maybe two going on three years ago, something like that, at a crawfish boil Right, that was at your place, right? Yeah, almost. Uh, you're behind. Almost four years, I think. No, yeah. Really? Come on, Husky. Yeah. Cause you getting that old, dude. I don't even. Yeah. I lose track of time. That was the first one, right? The inaugural. Yeah, yeah. We've had, uh, geez, four or five so far. I think, I think we've done four. Okay, you are behind a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty far behind. That was fun, man. That was so. Get, b- before we jump into things, can you tell us a little bit about what the purpose of the crawfish boil was or is? Well, it was just it's just a community event. We try to get all the stackers, all the artists together, and just literally just um, kind of unplug from the day to day sales and the grind and just have fun. Yeah. Um, and then it slowly turned into like the last year we had it. It turned into more of a almost like a dealers meeting. You know. Ah, uh-huh. uh, neat. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it was a lot of fun. It's always a lot of fun. Very cool. All right, well, right on. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Who are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> that's what I'm I'm curious about. Is we met thirty seconds ago, right? So tell me and tell the audience of what is and who is the Locker Mint. Oh yeah, well, I'm honored to meet you. I've heard a ton about you, uh, Paulie, from lots and lots of people. And uh, I knew my ears were burning for a reason. Yeah, yeah. It was all good, I promise. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we're we're a metals manufacturer. I uh, I got the bug about seven years ago and um, started stacking myself. And I don't know, I stumbled onto my first piece of poured silver, and I said, "Oh man, I want to do this." And um, and that's kind of what we do now. I mean, that's 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 what we do for a living. We we basically make hand poured silver products. We do it and we do it all. We do the uh, statues and our our bread and butter is sand cast. And so that's kind of our primary prime. Uh, well, I'm, I'm free. My primary uh, bread and butter is the sand cast. Excuse me. Um, and then we do statues as well. And, and uh, so we do it all, man. Now, yeah. when you say we, who's who's involved with we? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked. I, you know, obviously I can't do this alone. So, um, and about three, four years ago, I started teaching my son, okay. and uh, <laughs> he's good. Uh, he's actually, well, I'll just admit he's he's better than I am. Um, hey. he, he he caught the bug and he's really good at it. And so it's my son, uh, one of my closest friends, uh, Jason Robbins, and then we just hired a guy last year named his name's Dustin. And then my wife. So my wife's kind of a, the precious metals dealer. And then we're the manufacturer out here. So there's about four or five of us involved. That's pretty stinking awesome. That is. Yeah. It's cool, man. It's a family business. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm humbled my family got on board. You know what I mean? That's yeah, cool. no doubt. No very doubt. rare. Yeah. So That is very rare. What? That's what uh, yeah. Got to ask you, what, what piece are you most proud of? Oh. I'll be honest, I don't do a lot of statues. I've probably done 50 of them. And the reason we don't do them is if you've not met me, I'm really, really uh, particular on quality. Mm. And when you have things like uh, sand cast or statues, just a normal part of the process is you get like pitting, you get little pinholes and pits. Right. Drives me absolutely insane. Oh. 
And so I will spend six hours with a Dremel and, and various tools on a statue. So probably my most favorite one we did was uh, it was an alien from the movie Alien statue. Mm. And it was the full skeletal type thing. Uh, it was about, I don't know, about eight or nine ounces. It was a pretty good size statue. And I spent a lot of time on that. And that was my prized possession. So it was, that was that investment casting or same? It was. Cast? Yep. Okay. That was an investment cast. Yeah. And yeah. so you mentioned that you prefer sand cast, or I think you said you prefer sand cast. Is there, is there a reason why? Well, it's, it's what I started doing and it's kind of our bread and butter. And we've, we've become really, uh, and I'm not trying to be arrogant, but we've become really good at it. And mm. um, one of the things that we've done, I don't know if I had an example out here, but over the years, well, here, like just an example, right? Like you have the front of a sand cast, mm -hmm. then you typically have this plain back. Okay. Right, back, yeah. And so we would use tools like this to to really smooth our backs and and things that other people weren't doing mm -hmm. and then as time went on we started learning that we could do fully 360 dimensional in oh, sand nice. which nice. is which is uh quite a bit more challenging right. but here's the beauty of it right if you go buy a statue you're paying 80 bucks an ounce if you come to us and get something like that you're still paying 40 50 bucks an ounce and so that's something that we're like this year we're hyper focused on and um we got some really cool stuff coming out so um anyways so and in sandcast we've just we have found a way in our um in our operation kind of like the ford assembly line and so we've just become okay. good at it and we just no no sense in changing it you know statues are fun but you know, it's 15, 10 to 15 hours in the oven before you even get to pour a statue, you know, uh, and gold Spartan's great at that. You know, he's, he's yeah. got 10 ovens and yeah. 10 printers and I, mm -hmm. I don't have all that. So, uh, we're, we're set up for the high volume sand cast and it works. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and, and you mentioned some big news coming. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, I guess it's been about uh, close to two years now. I, I, I got a contact for somebody at Atmex and was trying to get our foot in the door with them. I mean, as you guys know, they're the largest or comparably one sure. of the largest big boy dealers uh, in the world. And right. so uh, a good year and a half negotiations. And finally, um, they placed a small order about three, four weeks ago. Uh, it's been delivered. It's been checked in. And they've cut us a check. So we are waiting for that to hit that's the huge. website. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. And I'll even go a step further. Um, to my knowledge, Atmex has only ever carried one small Sandcast item ever. Um, uh, because as you know, Sandcast premiums are quite a bit more expensive. Right. Um, so it's in a, in a way, it's kind of groundbreaking that we were able to negotiate that and they ponied up a little bit on the premium so that's yeah that's a, huge that's, that's exciting yeah that, yeah Very that's cool do, you, do yeah. you know when that's supposed to hit well yeah i'm you know what i don't know so i know that it was checked in it was accepted um they asked me for a little email description i sent that to them like four days ago excuse me so i'm just checking the website every day <laughs> yeah i bet every day i'm like oh is it on there yet you know we can't wait so it's exciting that's that's big. That's really big. Congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great news. That's great to hear. Congratulations. It's a grind, guys. I mean, I know you guys know this, but the metals industry premiums are small, uh, very small, um, and uh, it takes a lot of work to do this as a living. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, now, Not just the manufacturing side. I'm talking just sales in general. You know. So being being that you've dealt with all angles of this. What yeah. would you say have been some of the biggest challenges that you've experienced and how'd you overcome them? Wow, well, that is a good question. And um, I use this phrase in our household a lot. I say it's really hard on the inside to know what you look like on the outside, if that Ooh. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm a very, <laughs> you'll get to know me, I'm a very competitive guy. 
and I'm a very sensitive guy. And the one thing, and, and this could just be my own insecurities. The one thing for me, um, is popularity. Hmm. Um, and it's, and it's so funny cause I'm, I'm a very humble guy, but trust me, I look around, I see the post and I see the competitors and I'll see a competitor mm -hmm. post. There's 500 comments and a thousand likes and I'll throw something up and I got three likes, you know, yeah. and so, <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. It's tough on yeah. the psyche. And, you know, and my wife will say, well, honey, don't worry, because privately you just sold 100 pieces. Sure. And, she, and she's right. But um, but that that's the most challenging part. And, and my wife just got into this even after she met you. So only in the last couple of years to try to be a precious metals dealer. And it's tough. It's tough. There's a lot of competition and. Um, you know, if you're not that well known, you've got to build that popularity. And right. So popularity is the thing to me. Right. Yep. Yep. That's well, but I guess I guess not only that, it, it, it could be a thing, but you, you, you got to provide the product. And it seems that you're able to do that and that you're you're going the extra steps, making sure it passes your standards oh, and yeah. that people are going to come back. Now, are you doing are you doing like series of things like you, your own designs? Are you, are you also taking orders from, um, I always like to say this Joe Schmo stacker and they want you to make them a cowboy hat. Is do you take orders like that? Or is this just your designs? It's a good question. And I, I would say that's where I'm, um, the weakest, I guess you'd say. And it's because as the manufacturing side of what we do grows, where, um, your friend or the average guy on the street says, Hey Dave, I'd love you to design me and make me this. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to allocate time towards that when, you know, uh, rogue Island mint just ordered a hundred and of this product, you know, it's, it's hard to do that. Sometimes we do do that, but, um, not as much as we used to, right. uh, becomes more gotcha. challenging. Yeah. So, uh, it's just challenging now that you've built you built your business, the popularity that you have to keep up with quotas and orders that come in from yeah paying not, not so much customers but but dealers, right? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, you guys you guys have them often, Sean D'Souza. It's how we uh, how an email and I started talking about even coming on your podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. He's actually kind of slow to the party, but this last year he's been. Uh, buying and selling a lot of our product as well. So, um, yeah, to your point, the dealer orders, you know, 40 here, 30 here, 20 here. And then your buddy says, Hey, make me a cowboy hat. Like, oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, so, it's challenging. So, but yeah, big, we made huge strides this year. Big picture. Like let's say five, 10 years from now, where, where do you ideally see the locker mint? Oh, that's a really cool question. So, you know what? I think this would probably be the most important part of the show that I'd like people to know about this. Uh, my son, which I, his name's Mason, by the way. Actually, his name's David, but we call him Mason. Um, he was, you know, a high school football star, uh, a typical jock, right? Didn't get the greatest grades, right? He, he skated by. Um, just, but a, just a really good kid. And... I started teaching him this and he gave up his future to be a part of this wow. and he still wow. has, right? So he's in here plugging the shop and some days, some weeks, you know, with cash flow, I'm like, ah, son, it's not going to be that much. Here's a couple hundred bucks. And, and then maybe we do a really good one and like, here, here, bro, here's, here's 800 bucks. You did great. Big project. Right. Um, but we're still very, small, very family orientated. And, um, he believes in his dad and his mom great, and the great. business. Um, so my goal is five, 10, maybe 20 years, whatever it is, I want it to be his, I want him to carry awesome. on the legacy. And then, um, I want to be on a lake fishing I'm just getting a little piece of it. <laughs> I hear that. I <laughs> yeah. Hear that. That's yeah. That's so great. yeah. And, 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 and then the last part is I, I did want to graduate. I always wanted to graduate into big bullion, right? It's a, it's a little bit easier to manage when somebody's ordering 500 pieces at a time, as you guys know, when 500 people are ordering one piece at a time. Sure. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot 
more difficult to keep up on the, you know, on the ladder. So, yeah. That's amazing. I yeah. love that. I, I really, I had no idea about uh, how involved your son was or is. Yeah. That's, that's moving. Really, really cool, man. It's, it's hard. Um, you know, you're ex-military, right, Marine? Yeah, that's right. Right. So you, you, I always feel like the patriotic guys kind of, um, were tough on the outside, but, but the feels, you know, they got the feels. Oh yeah. It's hard to lay sure. your head down at night thinking about those things. Of course. And saying, oh my God, if I fail, I'm kind of going to screw up my son's future, you know? That's a and lot so, of weight. It's a lot of weight, brother, for sure. Yeah. And it, it, it takes a, it takes a certain person to be able to do that, put, put their, their idea on the line for your, yeah. your family and to continue to do it and keep going forward to the point where your own son wants it to be yeah. that big a part of it. It just got to feel great. In my yeah. Opinion. Well, and you can imagine, right? Young kids, when you try to teach them your hobbies or your things in the beginning, they're like, dad, this is so dumb. Right. This is so dumb. Sure. Right. And now what he does is he'll go out in the garage and he'll skim my silver and go make something and auction it so he can make some money. <laughs> so, <laughs> Smart. Hey, Dad, can you buy me one of those? No. But so he's become a little sacker on his own. So it's, uh, you know, it's really good to see those types of things. So you, you've got a working shop in your garage, yep. correct? Yes. Yep. So question for you on that. Sure. Have you have you ever swept to the floor and reclaimed the silver off the floor? And how much did you get? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So uh that's a really good question. I don't want to move the 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 camera around and all that, but just to make it simple, like um I don't know if I can even show you this. This is like my let me show you. I'm sitting here at the at uh my cleanup station guy. So you see this? Oh, that's yep. a couple grams, all right. Okay, so we've got a, we've built a uh, tray and this is for our, right here where we sand and where we cut and everything. And okay. when we process that silver, I get anywhere from 70% uh, of it comes back pure and we'll get 50 to 60 ounces. And to your question, when we slept, when we swept the floor last time, it was roughly 45 to 50 ounces. Oh, Whoa. I was yeah. not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. Me neither. I figured maybe 10. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, Polly, Polly no. was waving around a hundred ounce bar a minute ago. I think you got that beat just in the yeah. dust, the yeah, dust just in, in your dust. vest. <laughs> just in dust particles. Here's oh, another Lord. funny thing, right? So you got all these flasks lined up that are full of sand and you pour and sometimes mm -hmm. it spills on the table. Okay. And you, you open these flasks and you get dirt. So we just, we just take like a, a brush, and brush the mm -hmm. table off in the Ziploc bags. It's full of dirt. And three months later, I'll pull them out. I'll recover 40 to 50 ounces there too. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, no oh, doubt, dude. right? It's you know, crazy. you know what you know what would have been really cool, and maybe we can do this in the future, is 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 how if 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 again if you had the time like you're sitting down talking with us now, yeah. just show us just show us quickly, or I mean not quickly, or just walk us through the steps of an actual sand casting. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh yeah. Yeah, that that would be cool for people to see. Not not a lot of people have seen it, and I'm sure they could go somewhere else and see it. But why not come here and see it? Right? I I would love to do it. I've been bragging on you guys' show. I've been telling all my friends. I said, "Hey guys, go watch because we watch your show. We actually believe it or not, we watch it all the time." That's awesome. Man. I Thank knew you. there was somebody that watched us. See, I told you, Husky. <laughs> you somebody's watching. You gotta comment, man. You gotta. Comment. Well, I was I was humbled to come on, so I was like, "Guys, you got. I'm like, hey, follow them so you get to see it when it launches and all that." But. uh <laughs> But we do, we haven't done in a while, but I will tell you, we did TikTok and okay. we would walk, we would go live for six to eight hours um, every Thursday, Friday or Saturday night when we had big projects. Oh, and cool. I'm going to tell you, it was shocking. Um, we would hold two to 300 viewers for two or three hours straight awesome. doing exactly what you, just doing the entire sure. process. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. No, that's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll have to schedule that. We can have you fire up the furnace, and then when it's ready, when it's cooking, then we'll get you on. Oh, absolutely, cool. love it. We got five of them over there, so we got plenty. Hey. Yeah. Oh, one one more question. You ever you ever blow a circuit? Oh yeah. Oh I've had, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I've had to upgrade uh, wiring and stuff in here. We've had to add additional outlets and yeah it's 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 wild yeah because these these furnaces pull a lot we use oh, electric heck yeah. a lot of the guys use gas heck yeah. and we run three to five at a time that's wild <laughs> yeah i feel like so, i'd short something if i did that because we we you know i i have furnaces as well and i've yeah. uh when we first moved into this place i would blow that circuit over and over again so i had to upgrade stuff just to sure. get one going oh yeah yeah okay. <laughs> crazy yeah we we literally, we built this little office behind us for my wife to put all our stuff in there. And uh, we put all new electrical in here and we had to because we could only run two furnaces. And when we've got a big order, if you run two furnaces like that, you, you're just going to wear them out. So right. it's just better to have five, turn them on, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Very so, makes sense. Yeah. Sounds like, I, sounds like my house come Christmas time when we're plugging in so many crock pots and roasters and I got to go <laughs> tape the breaker ah yes. stay oh, on god dude come on <laughs> nice. don't tell me that no no yeah well, Good we stuff. love it man we have a lot of fun doing it well dave this has been awesome uh we really yeah. do appreciate having you on the show and i'm gonna hold you to it we do want to bring you on again uh and oh, watch absolutely. that process yeah, yeah that, that would be great it just come to me as i was sitting here listening i said that would actually be mm. really really cool oh. and is there do you do you have your own website as far as that goes or is it just just the instagram and no, we have the website. all your information dave. again for anybody viewing that's watching this um as yeah. it releases or later all dave's information will be that we have to, to find yeah. him will be in the description yeah, below. below and I, and i'll actually i think i'll throw at max in there as well because yeah. he is going to be having his items for sale right there at at max as well yeah when they hit you guys need to go buy them up so they come back <laughs> yeah, hey, no there you go no yeah doubt. but e easiest way to reach us right now is the lockermint.com and you can even email okay. us through that it's very simple just don't okay. forget the the lockermint.com got it pretty got simple it, got it pulled up right now very cool man you got a lot of pieces on there yeah I took share it off. quick share it quick while we're sitting here all right let me yeah. uh do you remember how nope oh present here we go yeah um yeah. share screen give me one second here we go. Sharing. All right. There so we are. This is the locker this, yep. mint. So the locker mint .com. Yep. So it looks That's like it. you got a couple of cool pieces up here. And I believe there's a few pages. Look at that leg lamp. Yeah. Check that out. People love that. That's Damn. red jilly. We sell a couple of hundred of those every December. <laughs> really? That's yeah. neat, man. cool. It'd make a really yeah. cool Christmas ornament. Yeah. Uh, and I think you had right here under collection. Yeah, this is probably the whole collection. This, this piece right here, this is one of my favorites that I've seen yeah. that you guys offer. And this is from years ago. You've had this already, right? Yeah, that's one of my earliest things that we'd ever done. There's, um, yeah, that's probably five years old, I bet. And that is Davy cool. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. That's why we picked it. And, uh, and, and we've changed a lot. I know you guys are trying to wrap it up, but you know, in the beginning, we're like any other artist. You go online, you source a 3D file, you print it, you make right. it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now we've learned we design just about everything we make now. So 95% um, of what we do is all kind of original in my head stuff now. So, so you've gotten really good at STL files. Uh, well, we have we have artists that are actually on our team. So we oh, have awesome. like three, three separate artists that do it for us. Yeah. That's awesome. Very, and then very I have to get nice. the computer and slice it and print it and all that stuff, you know. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, yeah, very, all right, brother. Very cool. Well, Thank thanks for being on the show, man. Thanks for being yeah. a part of the Crucible. Absolutely. I can't wait to see it. Let me know when it hits, and uh, I'll have all my friends watching. Hell, Hell yeah, yes. All right, just hang out a minute as we uh, close out of here. Sounds all good. Right. All right, cool. Husky, great Paulie. show, buddy. Yeah, man. We'll um, see you next time. We will definitely see you all next time. Same um, bad channel. Don't forget. Don't forget about the giveaway. That information's in the description below as well. All right, Husky, have a good night. Yeah, man.